Hi, in this particular video, I'm going to be putting together a cheat sheet or a crib sheet that you can go to the website and you can download. And on this particular topic, we're going to be looking at histograms. And the idea behind it is that you can print off this particular sheet, use it as part of your revision notes, or you could create your own. So I'm going to give you a couple of pointers that hopefully then will give you um, a little bit of confidence when it comes to approaching histogram type questions. The main thing with histograms that you need to remember is one formula, which is the frequency density equals the frequency divided by the class width. And if you remember this formula, it's going to help you with approaching most of the questions that you come across. Because really all we're doing with histograms is just simply representing this formula in something that looks a little bit like uh, a bar chart. But what you'll find is, is that the bars themselves are kind of different widths and different heights and sometimes they look a little bit like that. Effectively, the two things that are represented on this diagram, the first thing is the vertical axis is always the frequency density. The second thing is, is that you'll see that each of these have different widths. Well, that's the class width for this particular formula. So the only other thing you need to be aware of is the frequency and that's really represented by the area of each of the bars. Okay, so there's only going to be two types of questions that you're going to come across when you're dealing with histograms. The first type of question you're going to get is where it asks you to complete the table and you usually get a kind of a partially completed a uh, table of some sort and it asks you to fill in the missing pieces. Very typically what it will do is it will give you um, some information maybe on a class width. So it might say something that x is bigger than 10 but small or equal to 25. Well effectively that's the class width. So that's the bit that's going to be represented on this diagram here. Now, that might be given to you, and it might ask you then to add the frequency to calculate the frequency. Well, we know the class width from the formula, and it's given to us there. So in this particular case, this would be 15. And then what we would normally do is refer to the histogram itself, and that will give us the frequency density. So it might say something like... Um, let's say 15 is the class width in this particular case and let's say the frequency density was 4 and you just simply read that from the left hand side axis and that would give you then a frequency of 60. So very typically those are the kind of questions that you get as one option within histogram GCSE. The second type will be where you're asked to calculate the frequency densities and plot a graph. Well, that should be fairly straightforward because usually what it will give you is the frequency and the class width and then simply you need to divide the frequency by the class width that will give you the frequency density and then you would just simply plot that on some sort of graph paper that's given to you and you should end up with a diagram that looks very much like that. Just be very careful with your x axis here, your vertical axis to make sure that your plot looks as if it should be there to make sure it's not too squashed. Um, I hope that's okay for you. Please do visit the site. Um, have a look at this particular cheat sheet. You can download it. I'll save it as a PDF and you can have a go at maybe adding some examples in here of the type of questions. You've got a bit of space here. You can maybe add that in or you can recreate the whole thing and I'm sure that your handwriting is probably better than mine. Um, I hope that's okay. Please do uh, like, subscribe to the site. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.